on camera that old looks to see. Sir. Should the camera be pointing at me or maybe like this? That's what I would do. Alright, I'm looking at the area, I don't see anything. The video you're about to see, this, is, this video was uh, shot with uh, Zaki Morgenstern and myself in the Extra 300. Uh, and anyway, really enjoyed flying with him, so I uh, made some time for him and I to go fly the Extra 300 the, uh, out of John Wayne. Uh, this is the footage from that flight. We had some comms issues, so it's kind of hard to tell uh, what's going on uh, from a comms perspective. And then on top of that, the, the marine layer over John Wayne was worse than forecast. So we didn't get to do a lot of acro, but it was a real privilege to fly with Zaki. And I think the footage is uh, worth looking at. So uh, anyway, in the meantime, hello from Chamonix and uh, enjoy the footage. Clear! Check, Mike. Check, check. Yeah, I can hear. Extra 79 Romeo, we are at executive. I'd uh, like to taxi and we'll like VFR flight following to the blockhouse. Behind the Southwest 737 for the midfield run up, Extra 779 Romeo. Southwest 1808, going to 15. Southwest 1808, all right, here comes the brake check. Off gate, Southwest 1808. Brakes check good. You want to check yours? Yeah, I'm checking. Well, okay. So I think visibility for taxi is actually better from the back seat. Okay. But with how tall you are, can you see over the note right now? Seven three echo Juliet IFR two. Uh, Just a little. The uh, you go fly a pits or something, and you got a wing right over your head if you're in the front seat. This huge bubble without a wing there, man, it's hard to beat it. Yeah. I guess with your background, big bubbles aren't a big deal. The F16 is great. The F15 has these rails over here, you know. Uh, I got to keep all my comments in context with your background. <laughs> okay. Have you flown tail draggers? No one's really Only in the NTBS, yeah, yeah you know, the, the Dakota the and the... Uh... You flew the Dakota? Yeah, I did. Oh. Bag check good, here comes prop. And prop check's good. Idle check's good. Okay. And uh, I have my altimeter set at 2 niner, nine or 6 which is showing just about 60 feet right now. So uh, I'll put 60 feet? 60 feet. Oh, okay. Two zero left via Charlie and Kilo for extra 779 runner. Let's go. Okay, airspeed's alive, tail's coming up. Okay, your airplane. I got it. And uh, here in about 20 seconds, it's going to be a left-hand turn about 90 degrees. Okay. Go ahead and start that turn. And we're uh, cleared to 3,000 feet on the climb. Uh, 120 will be good. Right here is fine for airspeed if you want to climb here. I pulled some power off of it. There you go, you got it. You can just keep pulling it back. Very nice. Keep the heading change coming. Really sensitive in roll, huh? Right? You didn't try out, I'm impressed. Are you having trouble with the intercom? Okay, copy all. Let me make this call. I can hear you. You can hear me? Okay. It looks like there's no hole to get above this. Yeah, I don't think we no, I don't think we can get above it. Keep going like you're doing. One two five point three five. The handling? Here, nine double double. <laughs> Cry like a clown to the top. And I'm gonna lose with all the stars he never did. The marine layer was pretty bad and uh, worse than forecast, and as a result, we had to uh, abort and uh, couldn't really do aerobatics. We kind of flew out over the water and did a roll and then uh, called it a day, which was a real bummer. In the hole, all the salt in the lake. Yeah, the weather's no good. I'm sorry, man. 
You'll just have to come back and visit again. Yeah, I must. Left turn, 360 degrees. Once again, I really apologize for the technical difficulties with this video. Hopefully it was uh, worth watching and thanks for sticking around at the end.